but they didn't count on the emotion that the Chicago Bears would feel in the last home game for Mike Singletary, a man that has uh, spelled greatness at the middle linebacker position, and the fans knew it. Samurai Mike knew it. The special patch, Mike, tough guy, emotional, and then this is classic Mike Singletary, as Barry Foster would find out for the four-yard loss. Yeah, Mike is the kind of guy who wears his emotions on his sleeves. He did during the course of this game, and his team, more importantly, Chris, responded. Yeah, the Steelers responded as well. That's Hardy Nickerson. But a left to the face and a right to the drop. What? Mike did to his team had lost six in a row, looking to turn things around. The opening kickoff, they got a sniff that this would be their day. Rod Woodson, pro bowler at the special team, right in the hands of the man that kicked the ball off, Chris Gardaki. Then, Mark Royals has his punt blocked by Lemuel Stinson. Tough day for the Steelers' special teams. Special teams they usually excel in. Then, on a punt by the Steelers, Janelle Wolford fields the punt. Zips right up the middle, and only the punter Royals is there to save the touchdown, Tommy. This is a great play by Mark Royals. You watch him here stand his ground, make the uh, runner go one way, and then make the very nice open field tackle on Wolford. Jim Harbaugh starting in a quarterback. Oh, he and the coach are getting along famously. Harbaugh leads the Bears. He can run very well, nine yards. Then, hits the reverse to number 81, Anthony Morgan. And luck at him to Harbaugh out in front. He kind of missed the block, but Morgan tripped up by D.J. Johnson down to the eight-yard line. Finally, from the three, Darren Lewis. Touchdown, Bears 10. And the Steelers nothing. Barry Foster went into the game with 1,444 yards to lead everyone in football. But Trace Armstrong. Tommy, what are they doing to the blockers here? Well, something that hasn't happened to the Steelers throughout most of the season, Chris, domination at the line of scrimmage by the Bears today. And watch the DBs on the outside as they come up and make the tackles, keeping the guys inside, keeping the runner inside. Foster only 25 yards today. Meanwhile, Bobby Brister, it'll look much better behind and over and under throws. This time it's picked off by Danell Wolford. Bobby Brister looking pretty rusty since he's replaced Neil O'Donnell in the second quarter alone. He was 2 of 10, after, although he started about 4 or 5 early. Neil Anderson running for 10 yards. I mean, these are the Bears. We're in a time warp here. This year must have been something that we all imagined. Harbaugh rolling to Wendell Davis for 12. Harbaugh to Neil Anderson. 15 yards over the pylon. Touchdown, 23 Bears. Good defense. They ran for over 200 yards, but Dan Thomas and Mike Ditka. I guess this is a year that is not in a time warp. Yeah, these things have happened, haven't they? The Bears defense swarming. Look at Bongo, Steve McMichael. And then Mike Singletary levels Merrill Hodge. The incompletion, the teammates, the fans, the Bears send Singletary off in his last game ever as a Bear at Soldier Field with a resounding 30 to 6 win. Thank you. Stink by 10 points when Darren Lewis scored from third and goal from the three. The emotion pouring out of Singletary washed over his teammates, especially those on defense. Richard Dent smashed Bubby Brister. The Bears had a 13-3 lead at halftime. Third quarter, the Chicago offense went to work. Jim Harbaugh prepared to donate his weekly salary to charity if the Bears lost, hit Neil Anderson for a 20-3 lead late in the period. Then in the final quarter, Anderson gets to the corner to make it official as the Bears end a six-game losing streak, 30-6 to six over the favored Steelers. Now, Singletary took a couple of showers after this game, but that certainly didn't do anything to diminish the warmth that was coming out of Soldier Field today. Now, Mike Singletary said uh, after the game that he had studied a lot of film on the Steelers to try to get their tendencies down today, and he had Foster read pretty well. In fact, the whole defense did today. Well, our coaches did a good job of really showing us what they do, showing their tendencies, what they like to do, and we pretty much played a you know, play eight-man front and did a good job of reading the line, did a great job controlling the, con control controlling the front and stopping them. Our Brister's really fallen a long way since he was a pretty good quarterback for the Steelers a few years ago. Here's Darren Lewis. A touchdown to make it 10 nothing, And now we move on to the third quarter. Here's Harbaugh on the run to Wendell Davis for big yards. And this was a critical play in a drive that wound up in a touchdown for the Bears. 
They had a big play, kept the drive going, kept the clock going, and we ended up scoring a touchdown. Uh, not everybody's on the same page, though. Uh, Stan Thomas and Mike Ditka, I think Stan said uh, Feliz Navidad <laughs> to the coach there. Where am I? In the holiday season. Yeah, where are you? Where am I when all the good stuff, stuff is going on? I miss <laughs> all of these things. I got to watch a little more front. Hey, Harbaugh had 70 grand riding on this game today. I thought it was 75. Whatever. <laughs> he just wanted to just inspire himself, inspire our team to go out and win. Well, we should say that Jim said after the game that even though the Bears did win, he was going to go ahead and donate that money to charity, which is a, a nice move on his part. Yes. Now fourth quarter, more defense, interception. Where were you? I was in the middle guarding the deep zone. Sean Gale, we had a man defense. He was guarding the, uh, wide, the running back. Made a good break on him. Been trying to throw that out all weekend. Uh, did a good job on him. Here comes Steve McMichael for a sack on Brister. We're talking about Singletary's final game at uh, Soldier Field, but who knows about Steve McMichael? He's a free agent. That's true, and he played a, he played a great game like they all did up front. Neil Anderson, uh, now splitting time with Darren Lewis back there, was able to get to the corner, get inside the pylon to make it 30-6 to six here. Well, the Steelers getting a little feisty at the end of this game. I don't know if you were around for this one, but Lewis Age got tagged by Hardy Nickerson. Watch his punch. Oh, that was, <laughs> I don't think Lewis was expecting that coming into the game at that, but hey, did he go right back at him? And the one thing you got to watch out for is uh, number 71 Big Cat coming in to come throw somebody else over. <laughs> Help him out a little yeah. bit. Here's the end of the game. Uh, Richard Dent trying to set up Mike Singletary, and he did a nice job, too, didn't he? They said, you know, real good. And unfortunately, it's like 30 degrees. They throw cold water on him. It's, uh, but hey, the way everybody was feeling, it, it didn't even matter. You could sense the emotion today even before the first snap. Only was brief, the speech typically, Mike Singletary. I'd like to thank my friends, my teammates, my coaches, the Bears organization, and I'd like to thank you. The inspired Bears then excelled in every category in the first half. Donnell Wolford's 36-yard punt return epitomized the effort. Wolford just one man away from breaking it all the way. So the Bears played inspired football in the first half for Mike Singletary and led 13-3. The only question now being, with the Bears' terrible second half record this year, could they hang on? And the answer was yes, thanks in part to some hard hitting by Singletary himself. It was like the Bears of old, the defense showing the kind of unity that made it famous during most of Mike's great career. When it was all over then, Singletary got the victory shower and was later kept warm by an enormous horde of media surrounding him as he tried to make his way to the locker room, where the tributes began immediately. We showed him a film of Mike last night and, and, and some of the plays he made through his career, and I think, uh, think it became a little, it, 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 it affected them. They saw the way he played and the way he hit. It was a very humbling experience um, uh, for so many guys that you love and uh, you, you played with for so long, and you have the opportunity to go out and, and uh, turn the tide. You have the opportunity to, to go out and, and make a difference. He was a great football player. You know, you, you've seen that. Everybody's seen that. But he's a great person. He's, uh, you know, he's an interesting guy on and off the field. He's, uh, he's dedicated to uh, doing what's right and uh, living his life a certain way. And, I, you know, you've got to respect him for those things. I coached a lot of great players in my day in the NFL. Alan Page, uh, Jerry Philbin, uh, a bunch of them. But uh, Mike Singletary had the great will to prepare to win. And he spent a lot of time, a lot of education. He not only was a great player, but he was also a great leader of men. A couple of things. A lot of folks, when, they, when, when it's all said and done, they'll think of Mike Singletary, and they'll think of those big eyes. And we just saw on the, uh, on the piece of uh, tape there that one was watering because, you know, it's an emotional thing when a guy retires. The way I'll remember Mike Singletary is him making other people's eyes water. Yeah. And uh, I saw a lot of running backs become very timid running through the hole. And I think that was the thing. Buddy Ryan said that this guy was one of those that had the will to prepare. Now, a lot of people want to win, but a lot of people won't pay the price to put themselves in a position to win. Mike Singletary had that desire, and I don't think I've ever seen anybody work harder at anything than Mike Singletary did. When the Bear defense was at its peak, not that many teams were playing the 4-3 as you guys were. Now a lot of teams have gone back to it, but with different schemes. So as if not the last of the breed, one of the few who are the the last of a dying breed, the classic middle linebacker. Well, and, and what he did basically was bridge the gap. Before Mike Singletary, there were 6'4", 250-pound mastodons, and they're lumbering around, knocking people around. Well, Mike Singletary said, hey, 
I can hit just as hard as those, as those guys, but I can do more. I can get into pass coverage. I can operate sideline to sideline. And he really was a hybrid between the big guys and the little guys that can do it all. Soldier Field in Chicago, ceremonies honoring Mike Singletary on his final day in Soldier Field. Be a Hall of Famer, Terry? Absolutely, Greg. There's no question. 12 years, nine Pro Bowls. Here, an excellent job of bringing Foster down five solo tackles today. Jim Harbaugh, 14-yard touchdown pass to Neil Anderson. The Bears held Barry Foster to 24 yards in beating the Steelers in Singletary's last game at Soldier Field.